Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20 and Mr. Pahimar. How's it going, Pahimar? I have been busy and I'm looking forward to seeing your reaction. I know, I purposely have not logged into the server and those watching my perspective of this video at the moment can see I'm currently at the login screen. Um, so Pahimar has done a bunch of work and this is episode 14 of Crash Landing, by the way. And I'm going to log in and see all the work he's done on the base for the first time. Uh, you ready for me to log in, Pahimar? I was born ready. Here goes nothing. Logging in. I am prepared to see gloriousness. I can see you. Hooray! Ooh, fancy. I take it you like chisel quite a bit. Well, it's a little bit um, fancier than just normal cobblestone. I felt like we were a little cramped, and those 9 by 9s really didn't uh, need to hang around anymore. So yeah, I, uh, I made this cool little set of buildings for us. Nice. Would you believe so you've got some glowstone going on? Glowstone. Yeah, I know. Yeah, right. that looks nice. The pyrothium's over here. It's in this little yeah. bunker. So, so it's pretty much the same setup we had. You just fancified it and put a lot of walls around and, ooh, fancy. Yeah, I made you a nice little uh, farming courtyard. I like it. Let me tell you, see, Let me tell you see below. Oh, man, we've got a lot of food, by the way. Yeah, I, that's the other thing I did is I... Uh, uh, consolidated a lot of our chests. I didn't put all the things away because I kind of wanted to hear what you thought would be a good place to stick things. Right. So over here, I moved us a chest that's just full of water bottles and super easy to refill. Nice. The pyrothium's over here so it stops setting things on fire. I like it. Where, where did I lose you to? I'm uh, moving one of our oh, leadstone energy cells. I was charging both our energy cells for our constructors so that if either one of us die, we make sure we have energy there. All right, you want to check below? Sure. Oh, there's a, there's a below. Ooh, my, look at this fanciness. Yeah, because I know you are a man who enjoys a lot of space to run automation. Yeah, you're not kidding. <laughs> look at this, man. This is serious business now. I figured you could uh, you could find a few things to do here. Wow. Yeah, you uh, you've really been busy. Yeah, so it's uh, whatever you have available above, you also have available below. I didn't have a chance didn't to have... put the cool lighting down here, but... Uh, right. But, uh, as long as it's well lit. Yeah, there's nothing should spawn here. Good. Now, there's one more thing I did, too. Just be careful, because these torches all make you hot and... Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's the that's... one thing I'd like to do, is I'd like to get away from using the torches, but it was the quickest right. way to light things. Come over here Come over to here. this elevator. Oh, my. Go up as high as you can. So oh, it's very high. Our, yeah, I changed our launching platform. So we're up an extra well, 80 right. blocks. Whoa. Yeah, so now there's a launcher platform every 20 blocks. And the reason I did this is because... Did you know there are two other cities? I did not. I've heard a rumor that there's a city with an underground subway system, which scares me greatly. As it should. And there's another one that has materials for reactors. Nice. So I figured, hey, uh, I hear they're in different directions, so why don't we make it nice and easy to fly? Okay, we're not going there now, are we? No, we're not going there now. All right, I'm going all the way down then. So very nice, Pymar. So what did you do with all the sand that you cleared out of here? Because, I mean, that would be nice to have. Uh, let's see, where did I stay? Oh, here, there's a bunch of dust. Yeah, there's yeah. 57 stacks of dust right here. <laughs> yeah, there was a little bit of dust. Same as I set up a barrel. Just a to touch. Because, uh, I see when that. I logged in before, there was tons and tons and tons of wood. Right. Yeah, as, as I would expect, pretty much. Oh, I see. Our uh, redstone energy cell, well, not empty, but definitely getting low. I should recharge that at some point. Um, so there's a couple things I would like to work on, and I was kind of saving it for on-camera work. What were you, what I were would you like to, to, well, I know one of the things we're going to want to get into soon is Applied Energistics, and I haven't even looked in our quest book recently, but I know Applied Energistics is like one of them, um, and for that to work, uh, we're going to need a lot of those seeds from Pneumaticraft, so I think I've come up with a good way to automate those using Steve's Factory Manager, of all things. You're loving the Steve's Factory Manager. It's a pretty cool mod, dude, I gotta say. I mean, it does a nice job. Sweet. Um, 
And then uh, the other thing I'd like to automate is our food production because right now, like I'm kind of manually crafting all our food products. Speaking of, where is all our food? Is it in these gold chests over here or something somewhere, I presume? Yeah, I tried to separate them out so there's one chest of food that like we want to eat. So yeah, you, the one on the right one is, on the the right is good to eat, and the one on the, the left one is like left. raw material. Ah, that's very smart. Good man, Bob Mar. I am a good man. You're pretty smart, dude. I wouldn't go that far. No, no, I guess not. We shouldn't push it. <laughs> Hang gliders are funny. So, I have to see, I'm pretty sure that this harvest craft block here is automatable, but I'm going to have to see if the presser can you put stuff in and out of with uh, pipes and whatnot. But, uh, so I'm debating, like, what do I want to work on this episode? Automating the seeds of pneumatocraft or automating food production, which might honestly be a little bit boring because that's kind of uh, a lot of logistics from Steve's factory manager. But they're both actually using Steve's factory manager, so I don't know. Oh, and we have a lot of plastic here. That's good. My oh my. You've done a lot of work here, Bob Mark. Yeah, check out our uh, metals. Yeah, I can see there's a lot of metals in there. Um, oh, you you compressed a bunch of stuff to blocks. That's cool. I like yeah, that. I'm not just a pretty face. Well, I wouldn't even say you are a pretty face. Well, I would say that's very rude and insensitive, and you've hurt my feelings. Hurt my feelings. Shots fired. Indeed. indeed. <laughs> now, well Let's done, Bob. I like the bomb spawner too, because I saw a lot of guys over here. Yeah, I've been kind of, uh, you know, just letting it do its thing. Um, is it backstuffed in some way? If it's backstuffed, it won't. Um, it shouldn't be. It oh wow, we got a blaze head. That's cool. What's that? I was gonna say, if it's backstuffed, does it stop killing stuff? It yeah it will if it's back stuffed on items it'll stop killing things because it like won't have anywhere to send the items it collects. Oh yeah, the other thing I should show you come on out come out front. One sec, I want to figure out why this thing isn't killing stuff. Uh, it lost its connection to power. This power connection keeps breaking, and I think that's a bug. I need a leadstone energy cell. I think the creepers when they explode are destroying it, even though we have destructions turned off. I have to remember or figure out where Pyomar put everything. Uh, do we have a leadstone energy cell handy? Uh, we have item ducts and fluid ducts, but no redstone energy cell. So I'll have to make one. Uh, leadstone energy cell, redstone, glass, and two lead ingots. Oh, yes. Any glass yes. handy? Uh, there should be glass in the top left chest. Not a lot, though. So for the viewers, what I've just done, I took the pyrothium out from where the uh, the other wing of the ship was, and I've just put it in like this special block here, so it doesn't set a doesn't ton of things it. on fire. Oh, that's smart. Ideally, I'd like to move it away, because it is still a heat source. Yeah, it is. That's true. I have to figure out a solution to this energy cell keeps causing... Explosions thing. Oh, fluid duct was knocked out too here. Let's see. I don't know if I can put a cover there or not. That might solve it, but things should at least be dying now. I'm gonna move first. Right. Move downstairs. That's cool. Yeah, you can move anything you want anywhere. I don't care. Um, so I think I'm gonna start working on the the seeds automation thing that I came up with. That's like a plan. Sure, but first, come on outside. I want to show you where the uh, seeds are available. Oh my god, my dog. <laughs> oh, cool. So I set that ah, up for you, and yeah. I've made this little path with a special door outside. Oh, a special door? Well, it's an iron door. I see. There's a button. Oh, There's and button. it's got a button push. Nice. Ah, oh, let me in, let me in. Nah. <laughs> there was a zombie right there. <laughs> the other reason uh, that's actually quite nice about the block being that high, apparently I must have yeah. on there, is um, because you can hold shift while using the hang glider and fly faster. So now that we're nice. so much higher up, you can actually get right into the city super quick by like sprint flying. That's cool. Yeah, All right, so I'm going to want some Steve's factory manager stuff. So I definitely want inventory cables. 
And uh, let's see. Oh, what do I want from? So I'm going to want the inventory manager. So we're definitely going to want some iron. I'm just gonna like keep a handful of iron handy. Probably some redstone. Uh, I'm gonna want some smooth stone. Maybe we have some of that handy. Good, we do. Uh, the other thing I need is a, let's see, lock gate. I believe that's what I'm going to need. So I'm going to need a spencer. So I'm going to need a bow and arrow, okay, and an iron pickaxe. Cool. So that stuff shouldn't be too hard to get my hands on. Only problem might be some string, but we should have some of that over here. That'll do. Do you want to come back in a minute after I've crafted this stuff that I want to make, Pahamar? Sounds good, because I'm just doing so boring, just doing okay. boring and stuff. Back in a minute, guys. Pahamar? I am back as well. I am back as well. Cool. Uh, I just set up our uh, Steve's factory manager thing here to also move any leaves that go into this iron chest directly into a barrel. So now it's automatically just filling up a barrel with leaves. And then whenever we want, we can come over, grab a stack or more than a stack if you want, and dump them into this thing. Because I just noticed this chest over here was empty, so I wanted to make sure. So, Pahamar, do you know how hard it is and how annoying it is to automate the seeds from Pneumaticraft? Probably fairly annoying. It's extremely annoying, like, if I'm not going to lie about it, which I tend not to want to do because lying is bad. You wouldn't want uh, to do that a bad example for people. No, no, you really don't want to do that. Uh, so one thing I'm going to need is some dirt, so hopefully I've got some handy. I do. Nice. Um, the other thing I'm going to need is a spot to put this. So I'm thinking we're going to leave our harvester here so we can harvest all our trees and whatnot. So I'm not going to put it in this room where the harvester is, but I do want to put it nearby. Can I use this corner back here? I where you at, Bob Mark? Talking about. I'm in the basement. Oh, come back up. I mean, I could put it in the basement. I was going to put it here in the corner, but I could do it in the basement if you want. Doesn't much matter to me. It'll do it in the basement. If I don't like it, if I don't like it. Yeah, I'd like to see you try. I'm gonna put it underneath the farm. Threats. Threats. Yeah. Come on back here, I'll show you what I'm doing. It's pretty cool. I'm really proud of this design that I came up with because it's actually really hard. So I'm just gonna start right along this wall and we will um you know do things a little differently as time goes on. But I'm actually gonna break into Pahamar's wall here, this fancy wall that he made. So what I need then is some water for my camel pack. Would you mind bringing me four water bottles, or if you have some handy? Just give me your camel pack. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. You're welcome. And I need some inventory cable to connect these things and the block gate. The block gate is a very cool block that allows for awesomeness. So, oh, you know what? Bring some bone meal with you, too, when you come down. So here's what I'm going to do. I know. Well, it's a little hot down here with all these torches on the ground, but that's okay. Guess I'll just go make it ugly again. So this is going to get complicated, but I think I remember how I set this up in my test world. Um, so I'm going to want a white variable, and I'm going to want an orange variable. And my white variables will be all the block gates. So these guys. Cool. So basically, we define a variable for all our block gates. Dun, dun, dun. And then we're going to have a for loop. So for loop, we're going to say for each, and the variable we're going to use is the white one. So for every block gate, we're going to break it. And we're going to say first a conditional that for the inventory, the orange variable, target doesn't really matter what the target direction is, and items. If any, we're going to say so what we should have
So that should be cool. Ah, what happened to my lightning plant seed? It might be... The seeds pop off, it's not bright enough for them. Let me just double check this. Actually, you know what? I don't even know if I need this conditional. You know what? I just realized I don't think I need this conditional. I'm going to do just the input directly from the for each. The inventory will be the orange variable. So we're going to go through each of these block gates and we're going to try and do an input. And the input doesn't matter what side we do. We're going to whitelist. Probably want a chest of some kind. Oh, Hamar, where'd you go? I'm working magics. Oh? Secret magics. I'm concerned. I'm setting up a uh, hidden dust sorting facility. Oh, really? Might not be dust sorting, but it at least cleans up. Because, I mean, we don't need to see the sifters, and I'm really tired of running by them and picking up items. That's fair enough. So I'm uh, burying them in the basement so that we just have a chest you put stuff in and a chest you pull things out of. I like that. All right, so from our input... I should probably get some food. Man, Steve's factory manager is hungry work. All work and no food makes dire hungry boy. These are true facts. I really want to automate our food production. Once I, once I get that done too, I'll feel so much better about our position in this world. Like, we've got a lot of food and we're, we're, we're good now, but, I mean, I'll feel a lot better. All right. Let me rejig this. I want a slimmer profile against the wall. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I actually want two chests for this process. I forgot. I need one temporary and one permanent chest. So the strong box will be the permanent chest. That'll be good. I look forward to when we have an AE system. I do too. I do too. Can we have one of those yet? We need power. Oh. And um, we need plastic. Which is kind of what you want to get towards, I believe. Yeah, sort of.
do, do, do. Nothing to be worried about. You okay over there, Pahamar? Nothing to be worried about. Yeah. If I see a Pahamar's die message, I'm gonna laugh at you. Well, yeah, there is that. Okay. No, I'm just so to I'm about to test my system. Let's see if I set it up correctly. I I built this in single player and I got it working. So I hope it's working and I didn't derp it up. You would never you would. do that. I know. So I think I have to change these metadata values. Let me change those real quick. Oh, hello there. All right, let me test this real quick. Pahamar, I'm going to come back in a minute. Sounds good. All right, guys, I just realized in my single player world that I created this and I did do the conditional, so I want to try it with that. So I'm going to change this. To... I got us a much more streamlined dust processor. Nice. I will come investigate in a minute. I'm setting up this conditional. So if that's the case. I think the only thing I need to set up is that trash. Oh yeah, that was upstairs on oh, something else. Hooray, it's working! Yay, I'll come check it out. So I guess the uh, conditional was definitely necessary. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at it go! <laughs> that's so cool. That's what you do. It's all in Steve's factory manager. It's in that little red block over there. It's just magical to behold. Isn't it? So do you know how Steve's factory manager's for each loop thing works? Yep. OK. So basically, I'm looping through all the block gates. And here's something I've realized after working with VSWE on something like this. Um, he explained to me that block gates don't really check the block in front of them for their inventory it checks what the block would be when you break it for their inventory so because of that i'm able to specify on the condition that you're getting two seeds out of this because if you get one seed it doesn't match the condition right 
but if you get two seeds, it means it's grown to the point where two seeds are available to you now. So that's when you want to break it. So it waits until there's actually two or more seeds available in the block in front of it before it actually breaks it. Interesting, um, interesting. It then takes that seed, puts it in the wooden chest. Then it goes from the wooden chest and puts exactly one back in the block gate. And what that does is it causes it to drop out into the world. And then once it drops out into the world, it gets planted. The remaining seeds in the wooden chest are then moved into the strong box. Nice. Cool. So this is like fully automated now. Like I don't have to sit here and bone meal it, but if I'm like desperate for more seeds or something, I obviously can. Haha. <laughs> I overdid it. So, pretty cool stuff, I think. Just keep in mind, if you overgrow your plant, you might get that little explosion thing, but that doesn't hurt nothing. I'm pretty pleased with this. It took me a while to figure out in my single player world. Good job, man. Yeah, fully automated. And expandable too. Like all I need to do now to have more of these, because I will probably want more of these, um, is just add the line down, right? Like keep on going. I'll probably want to move this strong box to like up here or something. That would probably be smart. I don't know why I put it where I did. I probably just wasn't thinking at the time. But I mean, I can no, easily just, no. yeah. Dyer doesn't think sometimes. And I just have to figure out where my, change this to the strong box again, and then we're cool. So currently, eight squid plant seeds. We'll grow this guy, make sure everything still works. Now we've got nine squid. And ten. Oh, it's so cool. It works perfectly. I'm pleased. So yeah, easily, you know, expandable. I just need probably a couple buckets of water and a few more of those block gates, which is not terribly expensive. You need a dispenser and an iron pick, but I mean, I can I can deal with that need. So that's what I wanted to work on today, Pahimar. So what I've done so far is just move the dust filter thing. I know. Just blow your mind, eh? Yeah, totally. Where you at? Down there? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure it's entirely... Yeah, right now this isn't working entirely well, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Okay. So, let's see. I'll take this down. So what I've just done is I've just hidden the um, the autonomous activators and the sieve. Okay. So move that for you here. Sweet. So it's just a condensed version of what you had up there. It's two autonomous right. activators, one on top of the other, and they're both targeting the sieve. Uh, then there's just the one on the directional hopper, and because all other angles are blocked, it gets sucked into this chest here. Okay. And then you're just going to flip the lever and have it pull all the items out that, you know, match the inventories above? Yep. And right now nice. it yeah. doesn't match perfectly because uh, there's a lot of, like, metal dust and everything, so there was a few of them that got put into the trash can. They shouldn't go into the trash can. The trash can should be filtering only on stone. It should only allow stone in. Okay, well then, somewhere in this pipe, there is um, some of these dusts. Really? Oh, watch. If I do this, they start sucking out. Like, watch. Pulverized iron ore is going to disappear. That's weird. Um, I bet I know where it went. Where do you think it went? Oh. Oh. Oh, those things actually... Oh, I didn't actually... That would do it. I'll get rid of the connections for you. Now Thanks. see what happens. Yeah, ideally, they should stay in this chest down here. I'm going to yeah, bring what, what came up here happening. down there. So that's now it's keeping the items that don't match, right? Yep, which is what it should have been doing. Sweet. Looks good to me, dude. I'm pleased. I'm very pleased. I mean, it's just one less thing to, to have to run around and constantly have to be pulling things out of our inventory. Yeah. All right, you want to come back in just a minute? I think that's the plan. Okay. 
All right, guys. So I accomplished what I was looking to get to today, and it sounds like Fahamar did as well. Uh, we have fully automated seeds that are needed for all the production that we're going to want. I'm going to add, uh, like I said, a few more blocks to this line between this episode and next, probably at least double or triple it even, uh, just so we have lots and lots of these seeds ready to go. And really, to expand this, it's super easy. All I should have to do is expand the variable to include the rest of the block gates, and everything else should just work. I mean, like, it should just be perfect. Um, so not a terribly large amount of work to get that up and running. And uh, next episode, I'm going to try and probably sort out our food situation, Pahamar. How does that sound? I wouldn't mind, like, like, like auto-crafting all the best foods that we've come up with here. Like, these foods are all pretty nice to eat. I mean, there's a there's maybe even a few missing. I think you've been eating a lot of them, haven't you? I'm a grown boy. Yeah, because like some of them, I'm like, I'm going to forget about this awesome food, so I don't want to eat all of it. But Pahamar's like, nah, I'll just eat it all. And then Dire Wolf has to remember what good foods he came up with. Cheeseburgers are right. Cheeseburgers are good, yes. Cheeseburgers and hamburgers are good because they're separate and you just need to make cheese to get it to work. So I'll come up with a few things. I'm going to work on an auto crafting mechanic for that. I'll probably use Steve's factory manager and I'll probably work on it a little bit between this episode and next. Um, and then come back and show it next episode because it's just going to be a lot of working in that interface and it's going to be a lot of repetition. It's basically going to be filling out the crafting windows all within that interface there. So we'll see. Sounds like a plan. All right. So for now, Darwell20 and Pahamar signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy. See you later, everyone.